question. It's one of the treats of working on that show. It's so unexpected that I would have said yes to one guest star of a random conversation with Jeff Johns talking about casting a heat wave. He was like, is there anyone that you think would be right for this part? Firebrand, unpredictable, force of nature, and it's the only name I can think of. Here we are. So you got him this job then? I put his name out there. We'll say that. We'll say that. And I've been trying to think of other actors who were primarily known for playing certain characters on one show who reappear playing different characters on another show. And I think it's pretty cool. Why do you think your character is the only villain that The Flash has been able to work with so far? Hmm, that's a great question. I think that they have some sort of connection. I'm not sure what exactly it speaks to just yet, but I think that if Barry's arc is from boy to man, then he's surrounded by various kind of figures of manhood, and Snart is one of them. He represents a certain set of choices. And I think Snart responds to Barry because Barry keeps things interesting. <laughs> Up until, up until Barry's appearance, I think Snart was at the top of his game, maybe he was a little bit bored, and then here comes this challenge. Snart doesn't have superpowers, how is he going to answer what Barry represents? And I think Snart's trying to figure that out is uh, one of the more interesting parts of his arc and story. Can you talk about what excites you the most about this new series? And... Well, what's exciting right now is the mystery part of it because we haven't seen the script we haven't shot a frame of this thing um, but based on my faith in Greg Berlanti and his creative team and DC Comics and what they've done with Arrow and The Flash I just knew it was something that I wanted to sign up for I'm super excited about the cast especially I think it's a great great group of actors I'm really excited to work with Victor and Katie uh, among others if you could have superpowers what would you want them to be in real life yeah um, I was reading something online recently about, I think it was like a short about someone who could go back in time but only a minute and how convenient that was. <laughs> if I have a superpower, I think that would really come in handy. How, did it, um, how long did it take for you to get the kind of your character down, the way he talks, the way he moves? Because it's very distinct and kind of, you know, I mean, very interesting. Uh, it's a work in progress. He's, he's by no means kind of cooked and done. Um, part of the challenge, the beauty of working in TV is there's never enough time, there's never enough money, you're sort of discovering things on the fly. Um, when I went into it initially, I thought, yeah, I think this character has a very kind of low, whispery voice, always cool and in control. And then I'm reading scenes where he's screaming across a parking lot and yelling across an airplane hangar, and I had to figure out for myself in the moment, well, how does this character sound when he's screaming and yelling? And it's cold outside, and I'm screaming and yelling and starting to lose my voice, and suddenly giving it a more nasal twist was protecting my vocal cords, but also felt right for the character and sort of snarky, and that sounds a little like his last name, and isn't that kind of perfect, and the pieces just sort of kind of came together in a beautiful way that I couldn't have manipulated running lines in my living room. Do you know if there's going to be any additional setup for your character going in, like maybe on the Flash, going into Legends? Yeah. I think the idea is that all of our characters continue to appear on the Arrow and the Flash next fall, leading up to the debut of Legends, just to kind of lay the groundwork for who these people are and why they need to work together. Moving forward as a villain now working with a group of sort of heroes. I think it's gonna be a bumpy ride. And that's that's my hope as an audience member and as an actor. I don't I don't think that anyone wants to tune in to watch a show where everyone's getting along. Mm -hmm. It sounds kind of boring. Um, so even though he is aligned with these good guys and they're working toward a good cause. Um, Snart's used to being his own boss. He's not used to taking orders from anyone. Um, but that's not going to be allowed to him in this new setup, and I think it's going to make for, for friction and conflict in a way that I think will be really great for audiences. Between this show and Prison Break, we have seen you break out of many a jails. So I'm wondering, in case I'm ever in a pickle, what is the number one tip for breaking out? 
Um, I'm like the last person you would ask. I'm like the farthest thing from a structural engineer, or whatever Michael Schofield was supposed to be in the original show. Uh, I never imagined that I would play so many convicts. I don't know why that is, um, but it's been a ride. Great, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>